catastrophic, unprecedented, the murder of Anne Maguire, stabbed in her own classroom at Corpus Christi Catholic College in April 2014, left a Leeds community searching for answers. And while her killer, Will Cornick, was sentenced to 20 years in prison, those who loved Mrs Maguire are still searching nearly two years later. Today, that search moved here, to Wakefield Coroner's Court, where lawyers representing the Maguire family demanded a full inquest. They say that because the killer pleaded guilty, there's been no thorough investigation to establish if more could have been done to prevent her death and learn lessons that could prevent another tragedy. The responsibility to fully inform the family of all the circumstances. Today, the coroner heeded that call and a full inquest will now take place. Don Maguire hopes he may now finally find out what led to his wife Anne's death. We have always believed that we need fuller disclosure and to understand what the full set of circumstances were surrounding Anne's death. Um, it, it will be upsetting for the family to revisit um, those dark days from April 2014. Um, but we really do, as a family, need to find out exactly what the circumstances were that brought this about. We've had some information through the police uh, on a continuous basis, um, but it is incomplete and our understanding uh, of the situation is incomplete. But uh, official bodies such as Leeds City Council, the school, the church, have not given us a full version of what has happened. Leeds City Council have commissioned a learning lessons review which will report in June. But speaking to sources close to the school, they say a formal investigation is what's necessary to ensure classrooms are kept safe. We spoke to one former member of staff who didn't want us to reveal her identity. It does make you wonder whose interests they're acting in, because one of their arguments for it not being a serious case review, as I understand it, as I read, is that no child was injured. You would have to dispute that. And then there's the issue of not just safeguarding the children, but safeguarding staff as well. In the months after the murder, more than a dozen teachers left the school. We have heard a number were paid thousands of pounds and asked to sign severance agreements with confidentiality clauses which prevent them from saying anything which could damage the school's reputation and has left teachers feeling unable to raise issues relating to safeguarding at the school. At the heart of the issue is transparency. Channel 4 News has learnt that in the autumn term of 2014, months after the murder, another pupil was caught with a knife brought in as a present for a friend. The incident was referred to the relevant authorities, but the school didn't inform pupils or parents, and crucially, they didn't tell all the teachers. Senior management at the school wanted the incident kept quiet, as they were worried about damage to the school's reputation and feared a media feeding frenzy. So instead, rumours spread in the staff room, leaving some were told, scared to turn their backs on pupils. I guess the fear is that when you're working with children who are potentially unhappy and dissatisfied, it's really important that you know what you're dealing with, that you've got the facts if a child is of particular concern. We need to do whatever we can to make sure that young people are in the best environment possible and that no one is at risk. In response, the head teacher Steve Mort confirmed the second incident at the school and told us... The student in possession of the knife is no longer at school. All students involved received one-to-one -one Home Office approved weapons awareness educational input. The safety of all our staff and students remains our main priority. I can confirm that no members of staff that have left have been asked to sign a confidentiality agreement in relation to the incident that took place in April 2014. However, members of staff who have wanted to leave to pursue a career outside teaching have signed a standard Leeds City Council severance agreement. We are currently engaging with the Comprehensive Independent Learning Lessons Review, which is due to be published in the summer. Ultimately, this much-loved teacher has a final lesson to give about how to keep our schools safer. But we will only learn it by discovering the whole truth about Anne Maguire's murder.